Hello, it's Pastor Doug back again with another question and answer. And this one, a very special question. Uh, this is from the mail. It was actually mailed to me in an old fashioned way with a postage uh, stamp. And it reads, why does the Lord's Prayer say, lead us not into temptation? How could God ever lead us into temptation? And it's from Roman, age five, who just memorized the Lord's Prayer. First of all, well done, Roman. Outstanding job memorizing the Lord's Prayer. Good job. That's outstanding. It's a good thing to do. And also, thank you for the question. It's a great question. So, in the Lord's Prayer is a simple prayer that the Lord Jesus taught that lists us, that lists us things that we should ask for. You know, we ask for that God's name be made holy in this world. We ask that his will be done. We ask for our daily bread, just enough to get by each day. And we also ask not to lead us into temptation. Why? We live in this fallen world. There's bad people out there. There's sin in there, out in the world. There's sin in ourselves, let alone there's the devil causing trouble out there also. All those things can lead us into temptation. And we want to avoid that. We don't want to be tempted to evil. So we are simply asking God that we not be tempted. Well, then, why would we be tempted in this world? Well, like I said, we live in this fallen world, but why doesn't God just get rid of all the sin right now? No, he's not going to do that right now. That's coming in the future. The reason why it's coming in the future is God's getting all the people whom he wants to people heaven with. And so he's getting myself, he's getting Roman, he's getting all the people throughout all of history. And so we have to wait for that event until God gets his exact number of all his people. Also, we live in this fallen world so that we can do good. We can do good to God, we can worship him, we can obey his commandments, we can do good to our neighbor, and also it's getting us ready for heaven. And so we have all these things that can sometimes push in on us that seem to be evil things that come upon us. But when we respond with good, that's a good thing. So we're asking not to be tempted because we don't want to do evil. But when we are tempted and we overcome it, it's by God's grace and his Holy Spirit. And that pleases God. And that makes us better Christians. It's actually quite a beautiful thing. And so when we ask not to be led into temptation, we're acknowledging that we're in this bad place. But we also acknowledge that good things do happen. And sometimes when bad things happen to us, it's actually to work out for good. Because I'll tell you a secret. God doesn't tempt us because tempting is a bad thing. Testing us is a good thing. And so let's say Satan might tempt us to do evil, because why? He wants to get us in trouble. He wants to make us fallen. He wants to do bad things. But God tests us to strengthen us. Let me give you an example. Let's say there's a bully out there that really, really wants to hurt you. So they're going to try to have you swim out into the deep water. So maybe you'll get in trouble or maybe you'll drown. The bully is only concerned about evil. That's tempting. God does test us. Maybe your parents are going to drive you off to swim lessons one of these days and have you get into the deep end of the pool. Now your parents are going to be there. Uh, the lifeguard's going to be there. That kind of might seem to be unpleasant. I know when I first did swimming lessons, I hated it. I didn't like going to the deep end. It scared me. But that's not tempting. That's testing. That's testing, in that case, me to learn how to swim. And that was a good thing. So in the Lord's Prayer... We ask not to be tempted. We ask that the things that are, might cause us to stumble be far away from us. So we ask that Satan be far away from us. We ask that evil people not show up and tempt us. We ask that we not be tempted by those bad feelings in us that we want to do evil and because we're fallen creatures. But when those things do happen, and they are going to happen, we understand that this is part of God testing us. And God is merciful because he gives us grace. He gives us the gospel that we can trust in Christ and that we can overcome all evil because we know who wins, Jesus Christ in the end. So 
That's a great question. I hope I answered it. If you have any other questions, you can put them in the comment. And thank you very much, Roman. And again, good job in the Lord's Prayer. Keep on reading your scriptures. Blessings to you all. Amen.